In this video, we're going to be using Declaration Grooming Troll Toe and the Mula R102 Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. And before I get into the gear I'm going to use today, I want to tell you about a giveaway that's going to be coming up on Instagram Live. It's probably going to be this Saturday at around 5 to 6 p.m. I'll make an official uh, video and announcement soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But I was talking to Jason with the Razor Company, and he said, you know, I love this time of year uh, between Thanksgiving and Christmas and the Christmas season in general, and I love to give. And I said, yeah, I do too. It is a wonderful time. And he said, hey, you want to give some stuff away? And I'm like, hey, you don't have to twist my arm to make some people happy and give some stuff away. So we are partnering on this giveaway. Most of the giveaways are provided, of course, by Jason at the Razor Company. Let me just tell you some of the items that are going to be given away. Uh, a Rockwell 6S stainless steel razor. Uh, Shannon's All the Rage set. Uh, three soap set, including Shannon's Vanilla Mint, three, four, five soaps, Eternal and Ethos Rendezvous, a $50 gift card, a $25 gift card, and I'm throwing in myself two $25 gift cards, and I'll probably throw in an item of, or two from my personal collection. So Saturday at some point, it's probably going to be 5 or 6 p.m., I will make an official video here on the channel, so stay tuned. I'll probably do something on Instagram as well. We're just going to have a, a, a giveaway period where I run through some names and just give things away. You must be present to win. And in the, the announcement video, I'll do like a pre-registration so I can go ahead and put your names in. And we're just going to use a random spinner and we'll give some stuff away courtesy of the Razor Company and me. And I hope you guys will, will join us. Again, I'm thinking Saturday around 5 to 6 p.m., but I will make a, an official announcement. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into the gear today. We are using Declaration Troll Toll, which I bought from the Razor Company. By the way, the price on this is $22 for four ounces. And on a cost chart there, it's in the price of range, $5.50 an ounce. But I like the scent on this one. It's really unusual. I'm going to put the scent notes for you right there. It's really unusual. It's a sort of a tea scent, but it's got uh, chestnut and walnut. You, you definitely get the tea and the woodiness uh, from it. And there's a little vanilla. It's to my nose, a really nice scent. It is not a bright, fresh sort of scent. It's a little darker, but it's really nice. Scent strength is solidly in that medium level. And I really enjoyed lathering this because the scent was just sort of wafting. Uh, this is a tallow-based soap, and Declaration uses bison tallow. I'll put the ingredients for you right there. I didn't have any problems whatsoever lathering, although I do use a little more Declaration soap to get volume because it's it's pretty soft so i tend to use a little more but the lather that i do get from it is excellent i'll show you a lather shot right there it is absolutely superb and we look forward to getting a great shave today with that the razor for today is a razor that i bought from the razor company this is the mula um, r102 which essentially is an r41 with a different handle it's got that white sort of edwin jagger style um Handle and I bought this. It was on sale at the Razor Company for like $27 and still was of the last time I checked. So if you've been wanting an R41 that just has a different handle, maybe check this one out. It was on sale at TRC for like I said, less than 30 bucks. And I said, I'm in. <laughs> the, uh, the blade is Gillette Nasset and it'll be on its third and final use. So we look forward to using the what is really an R41 just on a different handle. We look forward to using that today. All right, let's get into it because we have babbled long enough. And I'm really looking forward to doing those giveaways and sort of, you know, lifting people's spirits. And I'll tell you what, thank you, uh, Jason at the Razor Company for, for doing that. I really appreciate that. That should be fun. So I hope to see you there. Again, it'll be announced officially later, 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday. We'll go through these and, and do some giveaways and make merry because, you know, it's Christmas time, folks. We, uh, we have permission from Shady now to celebrate Christmas. Uh, that is outstanding, and I'm surprised. I don't know if Shady bought this soap or not. 
Um, I don't know if he did, but I think he would like it. So Shady, if you're watching, and you should be watching because you're my friend, um, this is nice. I think you would like it. <laughs> so, you know, what are you going to do? Really, really nice. He is a big time Declaration fan. And I tell you what, this is a nice scent. It's unique to my nose. I don't think I've ever smelled anything like it. And you, I, I'm one of those people that every now and then when I get something that's nice that I've never smelled before, it's really, I really like it. You know, it's just kind of makes me happy. And I hope you people are happy today and are, you know, post uh, Thanksgiving celebration. <laughs> hope you had a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving holiday. It was fantastic for us. Well, actually, I shoot one day. Um, I shoot one day late or one day early. I don't know how to say that, but anyway, um, today is actually Thanksgiving for me, so I'm looking really forward to that. However, yesterday when you saw my video, I said it was Thanksgiving that day because it was for you when you were saying it. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm looking looking forward to today and and i'm also really looking forward to saturday doing these giveaways that that's going to be a lot of fun so i hope to see you there you must be present to win that's sort of the sort of the idea of a live giveaway show is to get people in there get them talking and do some giveaways so we will have fun with that and lift some people up and uh, i got to mention uh while we're getting into the shave today there was a gentleman and and he and i were not close friends however you know, I, I was aware of him, and we talked a little bit over the years, but not a lot. Thomas Burgess, um, he passed away at the age of 42 um, the other day, which I'm sure was very sad for his family and friends. And it just, um, it really made me think, it, it, it was sort of the impetus for me making a post yesterday about being kind. You know, now I didn't know Thomas on a personal level. Um, but his passing made me thought of, it made me think, I should say, of all the things that that I'm going through with my own family and health issues and, and uh, some people being very, very ill. Um, having lost my aunt from cancer last year, my mother and mother-in-law both having very serious cancer. My seven-year-old nephew having cancer. My wife has been on oxygen for a better part of the last year, over a year now, and they haven't figured out what the problem is there. So I've seen a lot of people close to me struggling with very serious health issues. And Thomas's passing reminded me of those things. It, it reminds me that folks, life is precious and short. Do your best to be kind, you know, and, and, and in the hobby, please um, think about this. Um, Try to be kind when you can. There's no sense in fighting over shaving gear or what shaving gear is the best. You know, we, we can debate, but we should be agreeable in our debate and agreeable in our differences. And the moment that it goes personal and you're attacking someone's character or tearing someone down or, or you know, the, the uh, debate becomes about them as a person, it's gone too far. And I made a post about that yesterday. And there was a gentleman, uh, anyway, let me explain the, the post because I'm getting to something here. So I made the post using uh, Instagram and Facebook, uh, my you know business accounts. And in order to post to Instagram, you have to have a picture. So the post was not really about Thomas who passed away. It was more about me being reminded of how precious life is and how fragile it is. And Thomas was certainly the impetus for that post. So. I had to use a picture, so I used my logo, which is the logo you see on the channel, the my face with the circle. And I posted that message just asking people to be kind and, and enjoy each other and not argue over shape gear and politics. And one in one of the groups, one of the uh, gentlemen said it would have been better if you used Thomas's picture. And uh, so I explained that, um, you know, I didn't want to use a picture at all. Actually, I started writing the post and I went to post it to Facebook and Instagram together using the business account thing and it wouldn't allow me because it didn't have a picture. So I just picked that logo because I had to have a picture. And anyway, after that, I explained to the gentleman, hey, I didn't want to use a picture at all, but I used the, you know, I explained why I had to use a picture. And then, you know, uh, and then he said <laughs> the message was great, but the picture ruined it for me. And I was like, ruined it for, I mean, it's, you know, I'm asking people to be kind. <laughs> and so 
I want to ask you people, redouble your efforts. Also, when you're, when you're looking at something that somebody writes on social media or does, don't project your own stuff onto them, right? It, give them the benefit of, uh, give them a charitable interpretation, you know what I mean? So the interpretation being, I want people to think about life and their family and their friends and being closer to them and just enjoying life. That's all that post was about. It had nothing to do with me other than, uh, it did have something to do with me insofar as I've got a lot going on in my life and I'm very cognizant of how precious life is at this moment. And so what I'm asking you people to do is not only be kind, but think about the way you reply to post on social media and give it a charitable interpretation first. Don't jump to the worst case scenario and thinking ill of a post like that because that post was meant to lift people up and bring people together. And he sort of took it, I don't know how he took it honestly because I don't know how you could take a post like that badly, but apparently he did. And, uh, and, I'm, and I'm asking you, just be kind. You know, he, he kind of missed the whole point there of being kind you know, and took an opportunity to, to sort of be semi-snarky and I'm like, did you not read the post, you know? And so, just try to be better people. And I, I need to do this as well. I'm, I am guilty of, you know, in the past, many times getting involved in skirmishes and arguing with people and talking about politics and very divisive stuff. And I'm not doing that anymore, you know. So I'm asking you, redouble your efforts to give people the benefit of the doubt. Don't assume the worst and don't project your own negativity onto other people and say, oh, he's just doing this for this or that reason. Don't do that, folks. That's exactly what I'm getting at enjoy lift people up and that's what we want to do here right so i'm sorry for that long-winded speech but i wanted to sort of explain the purpose of that post and why and because i'm going to tell you folks is it's really tough right now um for me personally and everything that i'm seeing around me and thomas's passing reminded me of all that so i wanted to share it with you and let you folks know hey you know, be good to your families, um, be good to your friends, and just try to be a decent person. You know, that's 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 all I'm asking. And part of that is just, like I said before, instead of, uh, no one needs to hear about everything that's bad that's going on in the world, you know, because we hear about that nonstop. So don't contribute to it. That's what I'm saying. Try to say something nice, positive, and, uh, you know, you know what they say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Do that. <laughs> now that said, when we're talking about shave gear, we don't have to like everything. We can give our opinions on it. We can, we can also give our opinions on, you know, the way people do business, but keep the personal stuff out of it. I hope that makes sense. Um, that's really what I was getting at. And so I hope that message will resonate with you um, today. And you'll sort of carry that through the, the holiday season and beyond. Because uh, anybody who's been around my channel for the last, you know, going on close to 10 years or interacting with me will know that there's been a big change here. And so it, it's something that I'm practicing as well. And I'm working on it every single day. And so work with me, you know, if you can. That would be awesome. Just try to lift each other up. Try to be decent people, do as much as we can to make a positive impression on our space. And I know you weren't coming here today for the Shea video to hear Tony Robbins style speech, but it's kind of where we are because it's, it's necessary, you know, and that, and that sort of episode yesterday sort of just reminds me of how much work we have to do to get people out of the habit of projecting stuff onto other people. And so just because you're maybe feeling bad and you see something and someone's trying to lift someone up, don't fire shots at them, you know? <laughs> That's not the right way to do things. All right, let's do a quick cross pass on the cheeks here. And man, I'm sorry that I got, uh, got on that, but it's very, very important to me, especially now. And I have been humbled, folks, by all that has gone on in my life in the last two years. It is tough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's tough. Um, and so we just, we press on and I have found that for me, dealing with this is a lot easier, um, being positive and trying to lift people up and find things to be happy about rather than focusing on what I see around me, which is sometimes a very sobering thing. And so that's my story. 
you know, today about the reason I made that post and I, I hope you'll share it, you know, and, and get other people involved in, in just lifting each other up. Now is the time, especially with all that's going on in the real world. People constantly at each other's throats on uh, politics, the price of everything going up. You don't need me to tell you that. You see it, right? So let's talk about good stuff. And so we're starting with that giveaway on, on uh, Saturday. And we're going to brighten some people's day and lift some spirits. And every single day we're going to continue to try to drive home a positive message for you all. And I hope you um, appreciate that or at least accept it, <laughs> you know. Because everything you see here is as a result of my life and what's going on in my life. So keep that in mind. There's there's reasons, and it's not for self promotion. It's because I want you to benefit from the rough time I'm going through, and and maybe I can reach some of you. Maybe reach out to that parent or sibling or a friend you haven't talked to. Maybe things fell off. That relationship was, you know, maybe challenged. Reach out to them. Try to mend that fence. Um, because life is short. They're not going to be around forever. And believe me, if anybody knows it, it's me because I'm seeing it and, and it's rough. So um, let me rinse and we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our Razor Rock Alum. There was no stinging there. So super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Following the alum, did a cool water rinse. And then we tied off with our Lancaster towel. Prior to applying the magic made by witches, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber and it contains aloe. Very nice stuff. I had an excellent shave today with Declaration Troll Toe. This is a very nice, unique scent. It's a warm sort of scent. I loved it. It's fantastic. So I'm very, very happy with this scent. Really well done, Declaration. The razor for today was the uh, Moolah and this is uh, R102, but it's essentially an R41 head on a a white handle. I did not have any razors with a white handle, so I got this from the razor company. It was on sale for like $27, so go check it out if you're interested. I will link that uh, below. We used the PAA Amber Ale Light Brush, which I don't think I mentioned. It's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug, and we're using our HCNC Bowl. And today we're going to treat ourselves and use our Undersea Splash because my mom really likes this. So. Thank you so much folks for watching. Thank you for listening today. I hope you'll understand that all I want for, for from everybody is just peace. It's just, you know, togetherness, lifting each other up. That's all I'm asking for. Um, again, don't project stuff onto other people. When somebody's coming with a good message, accept that message, you know. It's really important. And by the way, the way I responded to that was I explained why I used my own image and then you know, essentially he said he didn't like it because it was my image and I wished him a happy Thanksgiving and many blessings because that's what we want to do, right? As I've been saying recently, we lift people up, we say something kind because, you know, if that doesn't work and it continues to be negative, we lift them out. They got to go. So <laughs> it's that simple. Let's keep it up, folks. Let's keep it up. Let's lift each other up. Do something nice today. Say something nice today. And don't forget coming Saturday, giveaways. There will be an official announcement soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.